coming back to you in what I think is day 69 of the Sino Saga. See it back here. Nothing's changed. The weather hasn't changed. It's cold as heck. But I, I, I've been thinking, and I'm sorry, Turbine Guy just got us out off for a few minutes here. A few minutes. See, I'm, I'm seriously concerned about what's been going on in our community. You know, we recently had a uh, poor black gentleman in North Minneapolis, no-knock warrant. Cops bust in and shoot him. The guy was sleeping under a blanket. You know, we've got a, a sheriff right now, Sheriff Hutchinson, who wiped out a county vehicle driving drunk well in excess of 100 miles an hour. And what was his punishment? $500 fine and probation and treatment. Over 100 miles an hour, that sounds dangerous to me. I'm not sure about you, that sounds super dangerous to me. And it's not just Sheriff Hutchinson, the previous Sheriff Stanick. He had a kid who was busted for child pornography, trying to solicit a 13-year-old girl. He got three months in jail, was all three months in the workhouse for soliciting child pornography. Now, while all this is going on, you've got people like my wife and I who are criminally charged for failure to obtain a permit to replace a driveway. You got that right. Failure to obtain a permit to replace a driveway. This is during COVID. It kept getting pushed off. She had to keep flying back during COVID. She, she's disabled. It's hard on her to fly. Yet yeah, it was important to keep us all honest, to go after us. And there was a lot of wasted court time because what? She was dismissed for lack of probable cause, meaning she never had a thing to do with it. And I was found not guilty by the judge. And, you know, I, I was defending myself pro se. That's how, that's how bad the case was. So now let's go on to what's going on here. We're prosecuting a boat. We've got sheriffs with child predators. We've got sheriffs who don't give a crap about our vehicles and wipe them out, driving drunk over 100 miles an hour. We've got real crime going on. We got what happened with George Floyd. We that poor black guy talked about. We just had a cop get off with two years in jail for killing a black guy in his car who was no threat to her. And she was grabbing her taser. That was her excuse for after 20 years not being competent enough to know whether or not you're pulling a gun or a taser out. And now we're prosecuting a boat. We got agency after agency after agency after agency going after this boat. We've got a criminal prosecutor prosecuting a civil a civil case after this boat. Paul is getting ticket after ticket after ticket every day for this boat. And I'm sitting here wondering what the heck is going on today in society? Why are the priorities so backwards in this community that we're wasting all this time and energy over a boat which could very well be home by now if the county would just get out of the way and let him do what he can legally do when there's so much else wrong turbine guy doesn't get it turbine guy's shaking his head turbine guy's wondering like i said what is wrong in this community that we are spending so much time so much money so much everything to get this boat we got to get this boat, and we can't admit, ever admit, you know what? Maybe we kind of did the wrong thing. Maybe we filed a very ignorant lawsuit. Maybe we didn't even know what we were doing as prosecutors. Nope. We're going to go. It's our way or the highway regardless. Well, you know what? The turbine guy has stood up. I've been criminally prosecuted four times. No conviction in this county. My wife wants, you add all of that up, that five prosecutions in my family, criminal, and in a county where you, we have a 94% conviction rate, we are four times more likely to win the Powerball than get off all five times. Now, what does that tell you about what's going on down in Hennepin County? What does that tell you about what's going on with our government? I know what it tells me. It tells me we got to stop and we got to look in the mirror and we got to see what is really important to this community and society. Is killing people on no-knock warrants important? Or is prosecuting a boat important? Is the sheriff driving drunk and wiping out a vehicle important? Or is the boat important?
is putting me in jail for a buried chunk of concrete, sentencing my wife and I to six months each for a useless buried chunk of concrete important, or, or is giving three months to a child predator important. Half the time my wife and I were sentenced to. I don't know, folks. I'm just shaking my head, and I just felt it was time to spout off and, and point out to the world what is going on in Hennepin County, Minnesota, and why, maybe just why, there's so much angst going on with all the people in this state, down, down in the city, and everywhere else. Why? Because the priorities are screwed up downtown, and to me, they got to pull their collective head out of their collective rear end and, and, and screw it on straight and get some priorities going the right way. Turbine Guy, signing off.